time. I was listening to Rachel Hollis and I was really pissed about something she said. <laughs> like really, really pissed. So in the beginning when I was first starting to listen to her and I was first getting exposed to her, she basically said this statement, something to the effect of, it's not that you don't have enough time, you lack the discipline. And I remember like wanting to reach through the phone and like yell or scream or something because I'm thinking in my head, this is all I can do. Like my functionality and my mentality is barely maintaining with the infant that I have and the four year old I have at home. And I mean, I have a third kid, but I was just like, I can't, like I physically don't know how to do any more than this. The mental brain span is like nowhere to be found. So who the hell do you think you are? And I was basically forced to keep listening and kept giving her a chance and then I even listened another time and she's said several times that if you have like a young baby <laughs> and all you're doing is managing to maybe get a shower in but at least you are fed and you're healthy and your baby's fed and healthy and maybe you're getting sleep at night, that's all you should be concerned with. <laughs> And I remember feeling so relieved because I thought I'd found this person that I really liked and was really mad when I heard that because I felt like it was such a stab, like, no, I thought you were great. So when I heard that, I was like, that's great. But I've also heard a lot of times her say something to the effect of, you're not always going to be at a place where you're ready to receive information. You're just not. And that's, I mean, we all have different ways of coping with things. We're all going through different seasons in our life. Um, sometimes for some people right now, the intensity of the situation, how many kids you may or may not have at home, or just the intensity of work you're trying to get done from home, or maybe you were laid off, or, you know, maybe you're a family and both spouses were laid off. I mean, there's so many situations. Maybe one of your family members is sick. Maybe more of them are. There's so much scary uncertainty right now that this kind of information may not be for everybody. Um, it's gonna be really challenging and I understand that. Just know that if people are putting out content like this, they're not putting it out to attack you. So don't let yourself be angered by something they said. There's people that are in a different season, a different headspace and process things differently than you do. Um, and you probably, you might process different than I do. So depending on what and where we are in life, we may or may not be open to hearing these things. And so if someone says something like Rachel did, where she was like, you just don't have the discipline and you feel like you wanna backslap somebody, she probably wasn't meaning it for you then. If someone else tells you, hey, check out my book, I'm pointing down here because it's down here, check out my book, High Performance Habits by Brennan Bouchard, and you're thinking to yourself, I am as optimal as I think I can bring my brain span, then that book isn't for you. If you hear someone else say, oh my gosh, look, you have to go get this clothing from such and such, and you're like, there's no way that's gonna fit me that way. No, then it's not for you. Instead of letting yourself feel attacked, instead of letting yourself feel aggression towards that, just know that more than likely it was probably meant in the best of intentions and you can take it with a grain of salt, a deep breath and say, no thanks, and scroll on past. I hope this little tip is helpful. I hope it helps you live a brilliant, bold, and beautifully empowered life. Remember, not everything is an attack. All right? Okay, cool. Have fun. Happy quarantine.